How's it going, everybody? My name is Joe, and I'm going to be reacting to the season finale of The Witcher Blood Origin, Season 1, Episode 4. And before we continue, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Watch Pallor as you would a viper at your feet. I'll keep Fenric in my blades, Shadow. He won't risk her. But he's too sneaky for you. We'll see how this goes. Everything is dead here. Good luck. Sacrifice them. Not my blood, but you're my blood in heart. Yep, it was you, you all along, Fenric. Are the part of me that I value the most. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> that's how he does it. Jesus. Yeah, bro. This is on you, Erdin. You said you were gonna keep Fenric right next to you. I gave you everything you wanted and still you betrayed me. And you burn for all eternity. <laughs> That's me. Who the heck's that? Uh, I'm going to take what I've always deserved. Everything. Freaking Balor. I've returned with the Empress's prisoner. <laughs> so I'll take what I'm owed and leave. Sintrayan heir doesn't agree with me. And what if the Lark? Dead. Along with some others who joined her along the way, you can have them for free. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Where are the common folk thinking about all this? Honestly, scared. All right, Meldon. <laughs> Soul Reaver, one of Father's favorite prizes. Had this been another time, I'd have returned this to you. Oh. Uh. But these are new days. A bright future lays ahead, regretfully, not for you. Damn. You're a cell sword and ghost strife. You see why I can't let you go? You will honor our agreement. Honor? Well, from the legends that I've read, your ghost tribe was honorable above all else. And yet here you are, a betrayer, selling out your fellow warriors for a bit of metal. <laughs> a disgrace to your ancestors. Behead her with the sword that she betrayed her friends for. I'll punish you for eternity. Freaking beast. They just walk in the halls. The grain behind these doors is yours. Every grain store in the city belongs to you. She's the lark. Take what's yours. Nothing. It's empty. <laughs> that sucks. This is the future under the Empress and her bloody empire. We need to rise up. I know you're scared, but we'll never have this chance again. Together, we can win. You're gonna start singing. We are the okay, never mind. The audience will. The nice. Go. This is the day. The low bones rise. If I fall, you owe me a song, and I want both my stones in it. <laughs> he who have two enormous balls that slew an empire. Hark that laugh. <laughs> what the heck? I still think they all should have kept the armor on, though. Way more easier to get into here. Yeah. It's not the same feel you guys ditched. <laughs> three episodes ago everything that you've heard is true i had alvatir killed mm. and your family all of dog clan i knew everyone that i loved would die and i said yes i was a fertile thing to be traded i was unseen fial army and mages are on my side you're civilizing other worlds as we speak I we're all dead already will lead us into a new golden age i want you by my side you truly are demented hey, you honestly think i could forgive what you did right you know the sacrifices my dad had to make just to protect you mm -hmm. horrors we inflicted on others in your name and you betrayed us here we go you're a monster <laughs> all right it's time to kill her guards here I should know. Yeah. Oh, all right go kill the beast oh this thing is long in the hallways like i said earlier what the heck Ooh. She got her sword back. Nice. Dance seen. Bit color on your face suits you so it does. <laughs> Destroy the monolith. We'll hold them here. Just drop your tits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she got shot. Fuck me, was it always this tiring? Come on, big lad. <laughs> We're only just getting started. Oh. <laughs> She's leading the charge. <laughs> Our house is gonna go down. Uh, the Beast Slayer. The first Witcher. Just take me to my chambers first. That's her. Okay, go. We can make it from here. 
Are they both going to be able to take on Balor? <laughs> All right, the meeting with Lark. You're just another spoiled princess. I am Empress. Yeah. You are a child. You don't speak for elf kind. What and you do? They speak for themselves now. True. You take your revenge then and be done with it, little Lark. The closer I got, a thought kept eating away at me. So what you did was right. Wiping out the monarchies and the clans. We were the monarchy's boots on the necks of the people. We were their blade without question. <laughs> but you were just more of the same. You changed nothing. All right, do it. Ooh, princess You're is dead. Looking, looking for more necks. You hear that? Uprising. That's the future of elf kind. And the songs they sing will not be of you, but of freedom. <laughs> You want to control your own story? I've given you a choice. Leave the blade as it is, and the physic might find you. Save True. you. You'll live long enough to watch your world crumble around you. Face your wrongs, or pull it out and bleed to death a coward. <laughs> no one will know. No one but you. Sir, there's been an uprising. <laughs> really? <laughs> you All right, magic battle. Everything. This ends now. The chaos energy from the other world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're going outside. Damn. Ooh. Ah, just missed him. Hey, one night. You're a lovely looking uprising. Enjoy your freedom while it lasts. Remember me. Coward. The princess is dead. Oh, right in the eye. Ow. Whoa. Oh, transformation. Jeez, what the heck? <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> Damn, he did it. I was just keep stabbing it over and over. Sendro and the other girl don't have any other powers to combat? What? We need to use his power against him. I'll merge my power with his chaos energy to shatter the monolith. Ooh. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. Damn. Oh, his eye. I was not expecting this. Come back to me. Right after he just killed their friend here. Oh. Damn. A lot of blood. Damn, did he really die down there? Oh, his eye. I wasn't expecting all the death here. Oh, now he turns back. What are you doing? Maid shattered his greatest creation, not realizing the energy released would shatter space and time itself. Not fun here. Oh, wow. Planes of existence began to cross. Multiple worlds crossed through each other, scattering species like seeds as they merged. What the heck? This was the conjunction of the spheres. Every living thing fell. Every Silent. living thing? Strange ships lay wrecked. Having cast an even stranger cargo on elven shores, humans cast forever and far from their own world. Huh. Mankind now walked among elves. Hey, he survived. R.I.P. Sindral. Uh, this guy. What the heck is happening here? Yeah, because I know that guy's in that other world. Is that mask supposed to hint at the people that were chasing Siri? R.I.P. Fio. Six months later. <laughs> she came back here and she's pregnant. Ayla and Fjol had seeded new life. Wow. One marked by beast and magic. It happened, Itlin. I slayed a beast, just like you said. Only it wasn't the beast I expected. Yeah. Can you? Are you sure? I wouldn't even want to know. The lark seed will carry forth the first note of a song that ends all times. Ends all times. And one of her blood shall sing the last. Wait, what? The oppressed the may find hope and strength in the tale of their ancestors and be ready for the great change to come. I already forgot this guy's name. He still has Sindral's book. All right. Oh, wait. Thanks, Siri, right? All righty. That was the ending of The Witcher Blood Origin Season 1, Episode 4. I was an eh, okay episode. I definitely felt like everything wrapped up really quickly, which I didn't mind. I didn't mind just getting over with the show. I definitely felt all the kinks of the armor as we watched the show, but I'm kind of glad we did. 
just so I know more of the backstory regarding the first Witcher. And to my understanding, the creation of the Wild Hunt with Arid in there that we saw, he grabbed that helmet. And possibly with the two intertwining points, one with the Yaskir. And I'm not too sure if that ending there means that Yaskir is a descendant or something. I may have missed that or misinterpreted that, but that's what it kind of sounded like. And two, with that post credit scene there with that one mage that's with the princess, where that season one scene when Siri is playing with the kids and she takes a look and it's actually that mage in the walkway. So there's definitely some implications there where he's been watching Siri when she was younger. I definitely wonder why, but obviously she's this very special person. And if you've played the video games, you know why. But it's interesting that they kind of loop that with this character from the show. But to start with the actual main seven here, I really like Fial. He has this chip on his shoulder, being part of Dog Clan, just everything that he had to go through this season, losing his family, starting from nothing, and then building up this band of misfits to go take down this empire. It was really cool to see him becoming a witcher, but eventually having to be put down because he was losing control to Ayla or the Lark. It was a pretty cool character. You could definitely see what they're saying about her being the word of the people, her singing health inspire a lot of people especially that black rose song it's pretty good especially with all the times that we've heard that song throughout the whole show but for her to spark that uprising at the city it definitely made sense and for her to be the one to put the final blow into the princess i'm glad she did to get revenge for her sister and her family next callan i really like callan i guess we could talk about meldoff too but i like their relationship that they gained throughout that journey their banter back and forth was really fun to hear and i was pretty sad at the end when feel punched him pretty hard and his eye was all busted up i thought he may have died but luckily he didn't as we saw at the end there so i was really glad he didn't next meldoff and gwen meldoff definitely created a lot of laughs like i said with callan her relationship with him and the banter they had was really awesome to see pretty sad to hear about her story regarding gwen and the creation of the gwen hammer she was also pretty awesome in the fight scenes her with that bow and arrow and that hammer you could definitely tell she's a great warrior next sindral and the other mage Sindral seems like a pretty cool character. We didn't really get much. You could definitely tell they cut a lot from him and the other mage. Like they never even explained really how he got out of that cell back in episode one. That was really, really weird. And apparently they have this power to intertwine people to things. And that's what they did at the end there. So they definitely hinted at that at the beginning. So it was definitely interesting. That's how they ended up defeating Balor. Because yeah, Balor was becoming pretty OP. Next, the mage. And it's pretty bad when I have to call her the mage. Because I honestly don't remember her name. She was in the background. She didn't really provide much, honestly. Other than kind of helping Sindral with the spell at the end. But they didn't really highlight her as much. And lastly, Skin. I really like Skin off the fact that it's Michelle Yeoh. I really enjoy that actor, so I was happy to see her here. I definitely like that supposed betrayal that we saw with her and Feel. But she actually recruited people because of their cause, and that was an awesome turn. And I'm happy for her since she ended up getting her family's sword back. And as for other people, like the princess, she definitely sought something that wasn't attainable to her. She was too ambitious, and that definitely led to her downfall. You could really feel that hate that Feel had when he had that interaction with her at the end there. And I'm really glad that she ended up dying there in front of the common folks. And we see Balor. Balor was pretty brutal all season. He ended up killing his assistant, his girl, whatever, to be able to gain that power, to gain the chaos magic. And he didn't really get to use it much. He ended up killing Aridin and his people, well, supposedly Aridin, and that one guard that came to him when Balor came back. And he easily got defeated by Sindral and the other magic girl. But I really like that idea, that dynamic, that he had in his mind about him being lowborn, the princess obviously being of highborn, and that he has this chip on his shoulder. But I definitely get that. Overall, 
the show really isn't as bad as all the critics made it out to be i definitely enjoyed some elements but i could definitely see a lot of the flaws for sure so it's still definitely in i want to say the d range it's not f where it's terrible terrible but it's not good where a c is obviously good so it's definitely stuck in that d range i don't think i would really recommend this show to anyone other than the people that really really love the witcher and they want to get to know more about it but now i'm just ready to get on to the witcher season three other than that that is all i have if you have any questions or theories please leave in the comment section below if you enjoyed the reaction please like the video subscribe and i'll see you on the next one Oh, 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 oh,